Hey everybody, Wendell here. Lucas here. And we are in the living room of the Bonnie and Clyde hideout in Joplin, Missouri. And we're gonna check this place out and we are inviting you to join us. Hey guys, okay, we're outside the, the garage apartment as you can see what it looks like here. And uh, back on uh, April 13th, 1933, the police were called to this residence because they thought bootleggers was here. But when they showed up, they were surprised to find it was Bonnie and Clyde that was here. So we had Bonnie and Clyde here. We had Buck and Blanche here and uh, W.D. Jones here. Now, when the police rolled in right in here where our car is, Clyde had his V8 forward back into this garage right here. And when he saw the police come in, he just kind of opened fire, started shooting, and WD also. Now, the police officers involved here, if you'll notice, if you'll notice this pillar in between the two garage doors, that's right in front of that is where one of the police officers fell dead. Fight and shot him from that left garage door to right here. He actually fell right here and died. And the other one, about six foot away in front of this door, fell right here and died. Now, since that time, these garage doors have been changed and the front door has been changed, but the house remains the same, just like it was that day during the shootout. So let's go in and we'll show you a few things in there. And as you can see right here, as we start to go in the door, you can see one of the bullet holes that's left behind from that day from the shootout and of course this door has been replaced but you would came right up these steps to get into the apartment Luke is running the camera for me but anyway, in that day, there was two doors that went into this apartment. There's one door that was right here, and the one door that's right here now was there then too. This door got shot up pretty bad, and it had to be replaced, and they just built it in and built a shelf on the other side and done away with it altogether after the fact. But as y'all come in, we're going to come into the living room just like they would in the day. It's the original way coming in, and we'll see... Now this furniture, of course, has uh, been replaced. It's not original, but it is original to the time period. But the floors is original, the walls are original, a lot of things original here still yet. The kitchen, however, you can tell the kitchen stove's been changed out to a modern stove. We got a fridge. And this door, well, I told you it had been replaced, it was right here. You can see the hinges actually where it once was. And as we walk into the living room, I hope we can get this picked up on camera. You'll see all these marks in the floor right here. Well, this is where Buck sit here and got bored one day and decided to start throwing the knife into the floor. And as you can see right here, you'll see the letter C. That's where Clyde started to write his initials, but got distracted and never got it finished. But that was from the day of Bonnie and Clyde, and uh, I find that very interesting. As we come over here, now this window behind me, that's where the shooting took place, that's the driveway. So this bullet's coming this way. You'll see this little closet here. I'm gonna let Lucas get in here, I'm gonna get out of the way. But this is where Bonnie and Clyde hid their guns, and actually left some guns behind the day of the shootout because I was in such a hurry to leave from here. But there's something interesting up at the top there. See so if you can get in our loop and show that off. You'll see what still, a bullet hole still remains up there. Okay. So now we'll walk back here. This place is so cool. You'll see the bathroom. Of course, this, 
the sink's been replaced and the toilet has been replaced, but this floor is original and was here when Barney and Clyde was here. And also this tub was original. And this is where Bonnie Parker took her bath. This light fixture is original. As you can tell, let me tell you that you might be able to see it better. But it still works. I find that interesting. This room here, this was the bedroom of Bonnie and Clyde. And as you can see, they had a view about back here and a view out that side window. I mean, this went, this place had windows all the way around. They could see people coming from miles around. But I want to show you this little garage back here. If it shows up, that's where uh, Buck was at, cleaning on a car when the shooting started. So Buck actually came through and broke through the garage windows, getting down to where Clyde and WD was at. And uh, to, for them to get their escape, but Bonnie and Blanche was still up here. And they came through here with all this shooting going on. Open up this door and take off going down these steps to get to the garage. Bullets the one. Remember this door was shot up as it was running down. And they got into the garage. Well, Blanche she kept going, and she ran down the road actually. So. They had to pick her up later, but actually, they was able to uh, kill two police officers out there and uh, went down the road and made their escape out of Joplin. Now, we also believe that this area right here is where the camera was left behind, that Bonnie had left the camera behind. And that's where, when the police, this is all over with, and the police developed that film. It's where all the pictures come from that we see on the internet of Bonnie and Clyde. Matter of fact, at that time, really, the police didn't even know what Bonnie looked like. They knew the rest, but they didn't know about Bonnie until these were developed. And then everybody knew. I mean, you know, there was in every newspaper around and all that kind of stuff. And uh, as you can see in this hideout here, Blanche had written a book right after she got arrested and she was in, spent some time in prison. But, uh, this is the book she did, and one whole chapter of that book is done on this hideout here. I find that interesting. And uh, also left behind by Bonnie was uh, some jewelry. This is the jewelry left behind, Bonnie left behind at the Joplin hideout. But let me take this opportunity to invite you to go up and hit that subscribe button to my channel so you'll know when I put up something. Ring that notification bell, hit it notify you when something new comes up. You won't miss anything. I also invite you over to my Facebook group, Windows World. Go over and check it out if you like it. Join that thing. Uh, this channel and that uh, group is new. And we're growing together. And you can grow with us. And I'll see you in the next video.